Hey guys, Maytag Machine Maniac here. I'm bringing you another washing machine video with the GE washer. Today's request, I actually forget who requested it, but they requested two uh, sheets. Uh, they, I believe if I remember co correctly, this was about three weeks ago. They said they bought a similar GE washer and they weren't getting the best results. So they want me to film this. So, let's engage that. Uh, now, how I normally wash my sheets uh, is generally uh, extra rinse, maximum spin, no, not no spin, max spin, hot wash, warm rinse, extra heavy soil. This is how I normally go about it. Two rinses, a spray rinse, then a deep rinse. Deep rinse is warm, uh, but that's not how we're doing it today. I'm just going to be doing a default wash. I'm going to be cutting the soil down to light. I uh, will be doing a cold spray rinse, so let's get started. Now keep in mind these sheets are all very clean, which is why I'm not adding soap. Normally the stuff I wash is dirty. There's also a pair of underwear in there that was just in here when I loaded it up. Again, this is not how I normally wash my sheets. I wash them a lot longer, hotter temperature, longer spin. But, uh, yeah, expect frequent disappearances. Uh, as I am now back in school, I've been back in school for a few weeks at this point. So, basically I will not be filming as much. But you also have, uh, aside from the blue underwear, you have that pillowcase right there. There are two pillowcases in here, but one of them is the same color as the sheet, so having a second one that is a different color from the rest of the sheets will help prove any balloon slash rollover. Oh, man, it's like 90 degrees, man. It's technically fall now here in Massachusetts, and it's, you know, I'm sweating. Drives me nuts if it's not lined up. Uh, well, the nice thing about this machine is, especially uh, when filling for warm, it's doing both hot over here and cold on the left. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, my phone decided to have his spaz attack for a split second. So, yeah. A nice little uh, fill icon. I actually had a uh, an oil spill on one of my shirts, and I had to wash that about three times. But uh, the first wash made a decent mark. I had it on heavy duty. Uh, the heavy, extra heavy soil. Max spin, extra rinse, and hot wash. Uh, so, you can see the underwear is kind of, you know, six apart position. So, we should be done here. So about 17-ish minutes of a wash, and that's just the light soil. You can already see the underwear's on the top. So it is blooming. 
Now, of course, I would do a bit bigger of a water level, and in that case, if you want to add water, for those who don't know, just press this, and it'll bump up a minute. Now, if you want to add enough water to fill up the entire tub, you press and hold this, and there you see the time went up by five. That will automatically fill it to the top of the tub. Uh, agitation will change as a result. And this also benefits. Uh, longer agitation allows better bloom and rollover. But you know, for any part that isn't in the water, the uh, recirculation pump does help with that. that 34, okay. Oh. Uh, not washer related, there's that thing in my yard. I think that's a fox. If anyone knows what the hell that is. I'm trying to get its attention right now. I'm trying to get into my neighbors. Anyway, if any of you know who that is, or who, uh, what that is, uh, do let me know. As uh, this is pretty good for uh, one or an auto sense load. I normally do my uh, mattress pad in here as well, uh, which adds a bit more water. And again, you know, I generally have it set to about half a tub at least of hot water. 
and you know to make it hotter sometimes I'll throw in boiling water yeah, that really does help I mean that's what I use I mean sometimes I'll use the sanitize cycle but I can get my own uh, sanitization and even if it doesn't fully sanitize and remove 99.99 percent .9 of bacteria I got a good follow-up it's called setting the dryer to sanitize and that will pretty much kill everything anything the washer didn't get will be killed in the dryer which somehow is still alive after <sighs> so many years the washer fortunately or unfortunately depending on what you think of it didn't make it that long I really wish we crapped the dryer as well it sucks I mean one thing with age is that the sensor in here that allows for sensor automatic cycles is falling to shit it's just old number two this dr the dryer was designed with a washer that has 3.8 cubic feet of capacity this has 4.6 so doing a full load of 4.6 gives this less room to toss all the clothes making drying time longer not to mention this machine's quick cycles you know you just have clothes sitting here and then they build up a mold smell if they sit there long enough which I really don't like because then I have to wash them again I've had that happen a couple of times where uh, I did a load I went to karate I did a load and I asked my mom when this is done it was all my clothes yeah I mean I had two or three pairs left because I don't wash everything at once unless it's the weekend just in case I never make it in the dryer I didn't bother checking the dryer because I came home at 9 o'clock at night after doing a workout from like 6.45, you know, class to 6.45 to 9 o'clock. Didn't really want to deal with, you know, checking the laundry. I come downstairs, check the dryer, nothing. And so, you know, I have to get ready for school. It didn't occur to me to tell my mom. And it didn't occur to me, you know, I, I had to go out. The bus was coming down the street. Um, didn't bother telling my mom to, or texting anyone to do it. Because I'm the first one home. I'm the first one home. I get here at about 2.10. So, you know, I have a solid hour or so. Solid hour and a half to myself before I get my sister. And then where the two of us don't have a parent until around 5-ish. So... Call that what you will, but um, back to the story. Basically, when I got home, I was about to put it in the dryer, and I grabbed a bunch of clothes. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got new softener. Take a sniff at it; it smells moldy. I'm like, okay, the stuff I put in the dryer, I pull out, and I just do a hot, heavy-duty, deep fill cycle. You know, up nearly to the top of hot water, just to get rid of the mold smell and I had I didn't put any soap in I just did a hot heavy wash followed up by a deep rinse with softener that way uh, the softener would be replenished you know because it was pretty much rinsed away and that it would not smell like mold So this is actually a good wash. You know, everything is blooming. And whatever isn't at the bottom or in water in the process of blooming is uh, getting covered with what would be soapy water, but this isn't. This is just regular water because these were all very clean. Now again, you can always add more water to the load. You know, I could, right now, if I want, again, just add more water. But we're not going to. 
Вот. Yeah, so if you don't like how little water your machine's using, uh, you can always just bump it up and you'll get even better results. You'll get good results as well. I do plan on doing an overload test later. Not like later this week, but maybe, maybe later this week, but I'm thinking next week or something, depending on how I feel. Because as much as I love, I love this uh, washing machine community. Full on, I'm, I'm glad I'm a part of it. Um, it is a bit boring standing here filming the washer. If I had a tripod, and I could mount the tripod like right here. And I could stand off to the side, and you'd see both my hands. I'd be better with that, because I could leave at any point and have the tripod still filming. But of course, I'm, I'm on my phone, so I have to stand here, because I like doing the full cycle videos. I could also do uh, what I used to do with, like, the Maytag. Uh, I never did a full cycle with the Maytag. I would cut it out at some point. I even did that. I did a quick wash full cycle with the GE. Did a blankets thing. Uh, and then did a normal cycle, and then it was the delicate cycle, the first, I think it was the first delicate cycle video I did, that was, um, full cycle. Uh, this thing is being stupid. But, you know, if, I, if my camera glitches out or I have to pause recording, I pause the washer and start it right up as I hit record. The water temperature is decent. Um, again... I've had a lot of people ask me, what cycles does this machine do straight hot water? This side, this entire left hand side does straight hot water. This side, not so much. This side tempers it. This cycle's the worst because it's the eco cycle. This cycle's okay. This cycle slightly tempers it to about 135. Everything else is straight hot water within 10 seconds. You know, it does a bit of cold water at the beginning of the sensing. Uh, except for sanitize, that's completely hot. Uh, but most cycles would be a little bit of cold and the rest completely hot. By little bit, I mean about five seconds of fill with cold water. Um, so... This cleans very well, actually. You'd be surprised how well, uh, even though it doesn't look like it, they've been blooming a bit, and how well this cleans. The recirculation pump is part of the reason, is the majority of the reason. They're in constant contact with soapy water, scrubbing, at each, scrubbing against each other, and doing a blooming action. So... Is it as good as a traditional direct drive machine? No. In fact, it's, you know, not as good. I'm gonna, there are a couple exceptions, I will say. The stain removal feature, which I plan on doing a video about this. The, uh, what's called the uh, stain removal guide. This adds 20 additional minutes to any cycle. And it does a very concentrated cleaning process at the beginning of the cycle. In fact, I use it on my white cycle. And white cycle stain remove feature. 
Not it's set to the uh, dirt stain removal just to help get any dirt stain or coffee stains or whatever or sweat stains out of my clothes. You know, my karate, my karate uniform, whatever. So it's going to lock up. There we go, and I'm going to just hit the button there. That way it drains out. I'm shaking my. Uh, thing is, I don't want to have it do a wash to rinse spin, a spin in between the wash and rinse, and then it do a spray rinse. I'd rather it do this, go from here to spray rinse to final spin and just be done with it. If I have secondary rinsing on, or an extra rinse, where it does a spray rinse and a deep rinse, I'll do that. But if it's just a regular spray rinse, I won't really do that. I mean, it really depends on what I'm washing, too. A lot of my program cycles, like the my cycle options I use, are a shit ton longer. Pardon my French, but it is a shit ton longer than, uh most I uh, like my white cycle that's 70 my programmed white cycle is 71 minutes and it's default is 43 I have an extra rinse I have dirt stain removal and I have it set to heavy soil it's actually 73 minutes and that's just a normal spin and a warm rinse I can bump it up to have more spin and it'd be even longer but I've had good results with that cycle Ravens. See, I've removed the spin feature which removes wash to rinse spins as well. I'll probably cut down some of the spin as well. The nice thing about spray rinse is, is you're just, once it's in the spin, it's instantly in the spin. There's no using time to speed up, it's already at a certain speed. So it starts off at, let's just say this is 200 RPM, I don't know what the actual speed is. It starts off the spin speed at 200 RPM, instead of starting it from zero. So you get a little bit better of a spin. Of course, it has to wait the same amount of time before gearing up and speeding up to really fast speeds. But you're still getting longer amounts of spin. And my fingers are all wrinkly. Not so much this hand. We've been holding the fucking phone. And there you go. You get this increase yeah, over the next minute or so seven minutes or if this was max spin 13 minutes which is what I normally do actually 
Odd spends the next minute or so from here gradually increasing to the maximum RPM spin. If you're on the delicate cycle, well, you're shit out of luck. It won't really do much more. This is about as much as the delicate cycle will do, and this is pushing it. So now it's, it's inclined, and now it's plateaued, and then now it's inclining again. You can see the motor kick on. Two minutes later, it hit its full potential. A minute and a half, two minutes later, it hits its full spin. Now, if you have it set to normal for your spin, for any GE washer users, like GE machines like this, uh, it will only do this for about three minutes. Because it, there are two and a half, two and a half ish, or sorry, three and a half minutes, about. Because it has to coast to a stop. Which that takes for fucking ever to do, actually. I really wish they implemented like tough breaks or something. Also, I will not be taking requests. I mean, I'll be taking a few requests, but if you send me a washing machine request video, uh, don't expect me to upload it, upload it right away like I used to in the summer. I'll probably, if I do the request, because I won't be doing all requests. If I do your request, <clears throat> I will be, uh, it'll maybe be another three or four weeks. Like, this was... A, three weeks to a month since I last did a video. Because school and shit started almost three fucking months ago. So I just cut the spin down. But you know, once the spin stops, it automatically, so you get a, almost three solid minutes of the spin. Uh, the Maytag actually had issues. It's the Maytag spun slower, yet it took longer to post. So maybe these things have some form of weak braking system. I do not know. Maybe it's the tub design or something. But yeah, that that was the entire cycle. Forty minutes, my ass. <laughs> Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stick around for the next video whenever that will be.